Welcome to the Alien World. This is Navin Reddy, and today we'll start with a new series of Java tutorial. Now we have already uh, already have a playlist on Java, and you know you can learn Java from anywhere. So you can use books, you can refer to online websites, you can refer different uh, video series from Udemy or Udacity. Right? There are lots of websites. But still, you prefer to to learn Java from YouTube. That's great. But since I already have a playlist, why I'm creating a new list? And we already have lots of videos from different uh, trainers on on uh, YouTube. Then why again I'm creating these videos? Now I have seen lots of comments on my channel about uh, what is the best way to learn Java, how to master in Java, how to be motivated to learn Java. So you know we just have to learn syntax. We should have to learn the logic. If we can implement a software using the, using Java language, and you're done, right? But still, you prefer you you want to do master. You want to you know you have to achieve something. That's internal confidence you need to when you learn a new language. How to get that? You know, first you have to change your attitude. The problem is. If we talk about different fields of education, so let's say if you are doing B.Sc. Physics, if you are doing maybe uh, Commerce, if you are doing Management, so we have different uh, different topics, right, or different areas to learn. I'm not saying those are not difficult. I'm just saying we we quite a different attitude when you learn different things. In fact, I love physics. You know, I love physics from what do you say? Uh, it's, it, you, can, you can say it's my passion. Example: When I see some motion, some you know, if I see some accident of train or car, I I, I calculate all those uh, with physics. You know, I love physics, so it's my attitude towards physics. So, to, if you want to learn programming, you need that attitude with you. Now, what's that attitude? So, first, ask this question to yourself: Are you a human? If your answer is yes, then my friend, you have to change your attitude. Because to be a programmer, to to live in this IT world, you have to be an alien. That sounds weird, I know. Let's go with the example now. So let's say you have this pen. Okay. So if you talk about this pen, this is we we can write something, right? So if you have to take this pen and you have to write something. So the main feature of this pen is to write. Now the problem is, if you keep this pen here and you have to say you have to write something, pen will not move. It's because science, right? Uh, it's a non-living object. You cannot, it, by default, it will not move itself. So you have to take this pen and then you have to write, right? So this is a pen, which is a non-living object. You have to take this pen and you have to write. So if you talk about this, let's say you have a matchbox. I don't know why we have a matchbox here. So if you talk about this matchbox again, you have to take a matchstick and then you have to light it, right? But if you talk about this pen drive, okay, we have a pen drive here. Now, if we talk about this pen drive, what's the main use of this pen drive? You can store data, of course, right? Now, let's say if I have a mobile phone. Uh, this is not my phone. This is my mobile cover. I don't have a phone right now, so let's. Uh, uh, I have a phone there, which is recording this video. So let's say I have a phone and I have a pen drive. So in this pen drive, I have a movie, maybe a new movie. Maybe a movie, three idiots. I'm my, my favorite movie. So let's say I have a movie in this pen drive. I want to move this movie into the mobile phone. Okay. So can I do this? Of course not, right? It's because to to use this pen drive, I need an electronic device. Maybe a mobile phone or a computer. Ah, this is OTG pen drive for that matter. So I can connect this OTG pen drive to my mobile phone, and I have to press some commands. Why we need commands to work with pen drive? Can we just open this pen drive and take out, take out the movie? Is it possible? Of course not. It's because this pen drive doesn't exist or it will not work in real world. It only works in virtual world. So basically we live in two worlds, real world and virtual world. Okay, so if we talk about this pen, it belongs to real world. The matchbox, it belongs to real world. What about this pen drive? Now you can you can touch this in real world, but it only works in virtual world. Now what's that virtual world? So so we have a boundary here. So in this side we have all real objects. On that side we have all virtual objects. So to work with those virtual objects, we require OS, the operating system, like Windows OS. We have Android OS. So these are your operating system. So those are living object in virtual world. So we are living object in real world. OS is a living object in virtual world. 
So to interact this with, with this pen drive, we have to communicate with OS, which is a living object in virtual world, and that OS will work with this pen drive. Perfect, right? Now question arises, who create that OS? Because OS itself is software, right? And to build a software which is a living object in virtual world, we require programmers. Now programmers always think in virtual world, right? So you have to change your attitude. By default, you always think in real world. Now since you want to be a programmer, you have to think in virtual world. So if you want to be the best programmer in the world, you want to create your own technology, something very different from this uh, existing things, we have to think in virtual world. Okay, and that's the attitude you have to change. And anyone who lives in virtual world will not be called as human, they are aliens. So my friend from today, you people will be aliens. If you're not alien, just try to think like an alien. I'm not saying change your hairstyle, change your, don't apply that to 29 on your head. I'm just, saying, I'm, th I'm just asking you to change your thinking. So from today, you are alien. So how to start with tutorials? So I will suggest watch my videos, make a dummy software, teach others. You know, that's the best way to learn. Learn something, implement it and teach others. To change this attitude, you can watch some movies. You know, I have changed my attitude by watching movies. So you can watch these movies. Uh, again, you can find those movie name in my description. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's how you can change your attitude. So complete the series, make a make make some to make some software and teach others. So thanks for watching and do subscribe for other videos.